Hello students, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to discuss about a new topic and the topic name is factorization of polynomials by splitting the middle term method. Or you can say that factorization of algebraic expression by splitting the middle term method. Okay, so all these things today we'll discuss about that. Okay, let's start. Okay, you now see here factorization of polynomials by splitting the middle term method okay just before that you have to know what is the meaning of factorization what is the meaning of factorization yeah you can say that what is the definition of factorization factorization ka definition kya hai very simple means one polynomial is given to you and you have to express that polynomial in such a manner that the polynomials that you are getting that polynomials that means the definition i'm saying to express the given polynomial in such a manner that okay whatever the polynomials you are getting okay and each of the polynomial whose degree is less than that of the given polynomial okay again i'm repeating to express the given polynomial as a product of the polynomials such that each polynomial whose degree is less than that of the given polynomial okay so that is the meaning of what factorization got it for example one simple example i'm telling let uh, one simple example i'm telling one factorial suppose i'm saying x square minus 16 okay x square minus 16 one polynomial i have written over here now see how can you factorize these polynomials so these polynomials can be factorized by using the difference of two square method you know it better the difference of two square method that means i have to say like this that is x square minus this one is four square and it should be that is x minus four and x plus four and this formula you know it better that is a square minus b square the formula you know it better that is a plus b into a minus b okay so here you are getting x minus 4 into x plus 4 what is this these are called as the factors these are called as the factors these are called as factors okay so you have to say that x minus 4 is a factor of this polynomial x plus 4 is also a factor of this polynomial okay so what is my definition the definition is that to express the given polynomial in such a manner that the product of polynomials whose degree is less than that of the given polynomial look at here this is the given polynomial whose degree is this one that is 2 is its degree degree means highest value of the corresponding variable okay so that means here degree is what the degree here degree is what 2 and here look at here the degree is what 1 here x minus 4 means x to the power 1 okay the here degree is what 1 okay clear okay so that is the definition of factorization okay but now today we'll discuss about the polynomials and polynomials are already given and how can you split the middle term and how can you factorize so much better okay now see, उसका syntax क्या है? For example, एक syntax मैं आपको बताता हूँ। ये तो basic चीज़ मैंने आपको बताया। What do you mean by factorization and what are the factors like this? So here you can say that x minus four is a factor of this polynomial. X plus four is also a factor of this polynomial. Okay? The syntax. Remember, what will be the syntax? Okay? Now see, the syntax will be this one: x square plus b x plus c x square plus bx plus c this is the syntax okay what does it mean x square plus bx plus c now see what is the meaning of this b term so b term you can write like this that means b is equal to p plus q okay b means where b is equal to what p plus q what does it mean p and q p and q are two integers you can say or two numbers you can say so p and q are two what integers or two numbers two numbers you can say or two integers you can say so that means this term you can write in such a manner that it should be the sum of two numbers or two integers fine yes or no 
select this this term that is c so c is what product of that two numbers that is pq product of these two numbers or two parts you can say that is pq okay so here you can say p and q are what p and q are two numbers or two integers you can say that or two parts you can say that fine so this is the basic syntax you have to remember that is x square plus bx plus c this is the middle term you have to split this middle term in such a manner that addition of sum of two numbers that is p and q let p and q where p and q are two numbers you can say or two integers you can say whereas c is a constant term okay and it is the product or multiplication of two numbers that is p and q fine okay one example one simple example i am telling now see so that you can easily understand one simple example okay the example number 1 i am telling is it visible yeah okay very simple example look at here x square minus 4x plus 3 okay the this is a very simple example one polynomial i have given to you okay and you have to factorize these polynomials by splitting the middle term by splitting the middle term okay so now look at here this is the middle term okay this one is the middle term okay how can you do this x square minus 4x plus 3 okay so the middle term is what minus 4 here look at here the middle term is what minus 4 okay the logic is saying that you have to think about two numbers or two integers whose sum is minus 4 and whose product is plus 3 theek hai you have to think about two numbers or two integers whose sum will be minus 4 and product will be 3 then what is that two numbers how can you find out so for that reason you have to first of all find out the factors of 3 okay so what are the factors of 3 3 ka factors kya kya hoga 1 and 3 yes obviously right okay to aap ek kaam kijiye 1 and 3 these are the two numbers or two integers <clears throat> you can write you have to think about two numbers so that the addition or sum will be minus 4 and product or multiplication will be plus 3 What is that number? वो नंबर क्या होगा बताइए मुझे माइनस थ्री एंड माइनस वन ये दो नंबर आपको मिल जाएगा दैट मीन्स माइनस थ्री माइनस वन को आप आड करेंगे देन यू आर गेटिंग माइनस फोर ओबियसली एंड इफ यू आर मल्टीप्लाइंग देन यू आर गेटिंग प्रोडक्ट इज थ्री प्लस थ्री ओके यस आर नो ओके फाइन देन हाउ कैन यू राइट लुक एट हियर आई एम राइटिंग हियर दैट इज एक्स स्क्र माइनस फोर एक्स प्लस थ्री ओके is it visible yeah okay is it visible yeah okay so i am writing like this look at here x square minus 4x i have to split this term into two parts how i have to write like this minus 3x and minus x plus 3 now see minus 3x minus x dono ko add karenge you are getting minus 4x obviously okay clear okay now see so x square minus 3x minus x plus 3 now The x and x common is there. You have to take x common. Then you are getting what? That is x minus three. And here minus one you are taking common. You are getting x minus three. Okay, fine. Okay, good. Very good. So now x minus three and x minus three is common term. So you have to write over here that is x minus three multiplied with x minus one. X minus one. Okay. X minus three multiplied with x minus one. These are the factors of this corresponding polynomial. Okay, so your answer is this one. Your answer is this one. Okay, your answer is this one. This one is your answer. Okay, so what do you have to say? You have to say x minus three is a factor of this polynomial. Also, x minus one is also a factor of this polynomial. Okay, so in this way you can factorize the corresponding polynomial by splitting the middle term method. Okay, how can you split the middle term method? Again, I am repeating x square minus 4x plus 3. You have to think about two numbers, or you have to find out two numbers whose sum or addition will be minus 4 and whose product is 3. What is that? Two numbers. That two number will be minus 3 and minus 1. Okay, so here x square minus 4x plus 3. I am splitting this one in this way. That is x square minus 3x minus 6 plus 3. Again, I am taking the common over here. That is x common. Then x minus 3. Again minus one common here x minus three. Now x minus three x minus three common term. You have to take x minus three common then x minus one. This is your answer. Okay, 
Fine. So this is your answer. In this way, whatever polynomial is given to you, you have to factorize that polynomial by splitting the middle term method. Okay. Clear? Okay. One more example I am telling. One more example. Now see. One more example. That is example number two. Is it visible? Yeah. Okay. One more example. Now see. Very interesting example. Let's suppose I am telling you that that is x square minus 2 root 3x minus 24. Very interesting. Okay. X square is it visible? Yeah. Okay. So x square minus 2 root 3x minus 24. Okay. This is a polynomial given to you and you have to factorize this polynomial by using splitting the middle term method. Okay. Now see which one is the middle term? This one is the middle term. And what is the product? Product is this one okay fine so you have to think about two numbers okay whose sum will be you have to think about two numbers whose sum will be what is that minus 2 root 3 and whose product or multiplication product will be what minus 24 so what is that two numbers what is that two number you have to think about that what is that two numbers whose sum is minus 2 root 3 and product is minus 24 okay so in that case, first of all, you have to find out the factors of this particular number 24. 24 ka factors nikal dije, okay? So the factors I am writing over here, that is factors of 24, okay? You know it better, that is 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 8, 12, 24. So these are the factors of 24, okay? Okay, so you have to think about any two numbers over here, okay? whose sum will be minus 2 root 3 and product will be minus 24. That is a very interesting thing. It's very, 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 very important thing is that. How can you do this? How can you do this? Okay. Now see. These are the factors of 24. Okay. Achha, let, 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 let. Suppose, I do this. Suppose, I in two numbers. 2 and 4. Okay. I in two numbers. Okay. So, what is the sum? What is the sum? Minus 2 root 3. Minus 2 root 3. ठीक है तो वो नंबर क्या हो सकता है एक नंबर minus 4 root 3 and दूसरा नंबर plus 2 root 3 हो सकता है क्या देखते हैं हो सकता है कि नहीं ठीक है देखते हैं चेक करते हैं so minus 4 root 3 plus 2 root 3 करेंगे तो आपका आंसर निकल जाएगा that is minus 2 root 3 एकदम सही है सॉम निकल जाएगा आपका minus 2 root 3 सॉम निकल जाएगा एकदम सही उसका प्रोडक्ट निकाल रहे हैं उसका प्रोडक्ट निकाल रहे हैं ध्यान से देखना उसका प्रोडक्ट निकाल रहे हैं ठीक है उसका प्रोडक्ट हम मल्टीप्लाई करेंगे 4 2 जाएगा 8 minus 8 and root 3 into root 3 what is that 3 तो minus 8 into 3 what is that minus 24 yes हो जाता है product multiplication minus 24 हो जाता है yes absolute right so these are the two numbers these are the two numbers okay minus 4 root 3 and plus 2 root 3 these are the two numbers whose sum is minus 2 root 3 and product is minus 24 ठीक है okay how can I write? I have to write in this way. Look at here. Okay. So now see. That is x square minus 2 root 3 x minus 24. Okay. Now I have to write x square. I have to split this term as in this way. Okay. I am writing look at here. Minus 4 root 3 x plus 2 root 3 x minus 24. Both Very good. So now look at here, the x and x, you have to take it as common, to x common, again x minus 4 root 3, okay, fine, good, very good. So here you have to take 2 root 3 common, okay, to x minus 4 root 3, yes, absolute right, both but yeah, very good, clear, okay. So now this is the common term, this is the common term, you have to take it as common. Okay, this is the common term, this is the common term, you have to take it as common, I am writing this way, that is x minus 4 root 3 multiplied with x plus 2 root 3 and this is your answer, this is your answer, fine, this is your answer, okay, so you have to say x minus 4 root 3 is a factor of this polynomial and x plus 2 root 3 is also a factor of this polynomial, clear, okay, fine. So in this way, whatever polynomial is given to you, you have to factorize the corresponding polynomial by splitting the middle term method. Okay. By splitting the middle term method in this way, I think you can easily do this. Okay. Fine. Clear. Is there any doubt over here? Okay. 
so so if you like this video please like this video and subscribe to my youtube channel okay students so please subscribe to my youtube channel if you like this video please subscribe to my youtube channel okay thank you students thank you very much